I have this drum loop here that Tej sent me. Let's see. Kind of sick. Yeah, I think it just kind of loops in there. It's the same thing. sending that I'm gonna go check it out let's see here dope let's throw this in here <laughs> get rid of this sustain this like reverb I don't really need back a little bit, throw a little drum bus on this. By little, I mean a fucking ass ton. I'm also gonna do a cheeky little thing here, and I'm gonna use beach beats beats mode and pitch this up here. Yeah. Actually, 
Actually, I think I like that the best. So I, I went into this view of the EQ3 because I realized that we, I, I could actually tune like the fundamental of the snare drum. Um, I know the song is in the key of B minor, basically. So I was boosting this frequency, and then I realized down here in this little area, it shows you like the musical note as well as the, um, the hertz value and whatnot. So I was looking for B, and I realized I was boosting the C, so the, the, the fundamental of the snare drum was previously half note above or half step above the root of the musical key of the song. So I was like, shit, if I just pitch it down a half step, which I never really do, but then it would be a B. You can hear it, it's like ringing out in key, which is kind of sick. Let me throw some, uh, some vibe on here. Yep. Wow, that's loud, oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to change the kick pattern to match the bass a little bit. Real fast, just some super quick stuff I can add. There's got to be some snaps here. Right, yeah. Some sort of fill here. Let's see what we can find. That could be cool. And then a nice crash here. Quick idea. I'm not sure that that's what I want to end up with. The filter on the guitar. Not sure. 